everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is the first makeup look that I am doing in my Valentine's Day series. I decided to stick with my signature smoky for this one. This is the most dramatic look that I will be posting in the Valentine's series, but I'm really excited to say that this is a collab with Olivia Sonley. So if you want to go for a more like dreamy romantic look, check out Olivia's channel. I'll link it down below. Now let's just go ahead and get right into this red smoky halo tutorial. All right, so first things first, just to get everything started, I am gonna have a sip of coffee because I'm gonna need it for this tutorial and I'm gonna go ahead and clip my hair back. And we're gonna get right into it. So for the base of my eyeshadow, I am going to use the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer Hydrate and this is in the color Ivory. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my entire eyeshadow lit area and carve out my brows. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the carving of my brows with the Lexi 221 Flat Definer Brush. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Peach and Pearl Concealer Brush to just go ahead and even that area out. So today for my eyeshadow base, I'm using the MAC 224 brush and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette in the color Burnt Orange. And I am currently giving away one of these Modern Renaissance Palettes as a part of my Valentine's Day giveaway, so go ahead and check that out. I'll go ahead and leave that link down below. I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit deeper into my crease with the color Love Letter from the Modern Renaissance Palette and now I'm using the Morphe M433 brush. Next I'm using the Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm gonna use the color Red Ochre. I'm gonna go ahead and define that area even more tightly. Alright, so now it's time to halo my eyes out for that smoky halo. I'm going to go ahead and go into the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured Shadows Palette, which has one of the most pigmented blacks that I have ever seen. And I'm going to go ahead and use that color Black Truffle. If you do not have this palette, go ahead and use any black you like. I'm going to go ahead and go back in with the Red Ochre and the Sigma E25 brush and just blend out that black. So for the middle highlight of my halo, I'm going to go ahead and use the color Vermeer from the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that on the center of my lids only. For the outside part of that inner highlight, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Raw Power Metal Crush Eyeshadow with the MAC 228 brush. And I'm going to apply this right between that black halo on the outside crease and that inside lid highlight. I'm going to use the same brush that I used to apply the color Vermeer to go ahead and blend out that red. For my lower lash line, I'm using a Lexi 237 brush to apply the color Railgar onto my lower lash line. I'm taking the color Love Letter and I'm going to go ahead and blend a little bit tighter on my lash line with the Morphe M562 brush. So to line my lash line, I'm going to use the Motives Little Black Dress Liner and the brush that I'm using is the Real Techniques Fine Liner brush and this is from their Essential Eye Set. Just to make my eyes pop a little bit more, I am going to take the black shadow and I'm going to use the scone smudger brush to go ahead and just lightly line the outside and inside of my lower lash line. For mascara, I am using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which is another product that I am giving away for my Valentine's Day giveaway, which is linked down below. For lashes, I am putting on the Flutter Lashes Intoxicating, which is another thing that I am giving away in my Valentine's Day giveaway. So if you haven't clicked the link below, go ahead and click it now to enter to win one of these products that I have used in this tutorial. Since my eyes are so smoky and heavy, I'm just going to do a light nude lip. My absolute favorite nude lip combo right now is the Liner Stripped Down by MAC and then the Honey Love Lipstick. Alright, so this is the final look. Of course, I put on my favorite wig because I think it goes perfectly with this look. And of course, there's some pink on the end, so it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Don't forget to check out Olivia's look down below and support her and subscribe to her channel if you enjoyed her tutorial. It's a more dreamy and romantic look, so if this smoky halo was just not up your alley, check out her video because I'm sure that you'll love it. I am currently doing a Valentine's Day series, so I'll be posting more natural looks, bronze looks, any look to fit your style for your Valentine's 
Wednesday date. I'm also doing lookbooks on my blog and on my channel and I currently have that Valentine's Day giveaway so make sure you subscribe so that you can be entered to win. All the details are listed down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.